Hey friends, so one of the most important skills in using Maya is being able to easily move about through the windows or viewport panel and to also tumble, track, and dolly through your scene. This exercise is super basic, but it'll help you get that muscle memory going and hopefully be a fun way for you to practice your skills. First thing is to open up the cute cake file that's linked below, it's totally free. And then let me go over some shortcuts really quickly. Select, move, rotate, and scale are four keys right next to each other on your keyboard. You'll be using them a whole bunch, so it's Q, W, E, and R for those. F for focus. That will put all of your models into view or your, a selected model into view. The space bar will help you jump back and forth between the different viewports. If you press and hold the spacebar, you'll get a hotbox menu, which is a menu with all of your different submenus on it, and it appears right where your cursor was placed. So it can be a really easy way to find menu items. And then finally, let's look at our tumble, track, and dolly, which we can do with our mouse. You're going to hold down Alt, left click, and rotate around or tumble around your scene. Alt and the middle mouse button, which is actually a button, you can click that, you can track, and then Alt and your right mouse button allows you to dolly back and forth. Also, you can use your middle mouse button if it has a wheel on it to zoom in and out of your scene. Okay, let's move on to the exercises. So the very first thing I want you to do is jump to our four panel view with spacebar. So just hover in your perspective view, press spacebar, then hover over your front view, press spacebar again. Then I'm hovering, pressing spacebar one more time before hovering over my perspective view, pressing spacebar and jumping back there. So you can see it's super easy to jump back and forth and I just want you to practice putting your cursor in the right viewport panel, pressing spacebar, just get used to it. Okay, so the next thing that I want you to do is find out what the hidden message is underneath this little ground plane here. So you can press Alt and use your left mouse button to tumble around and kind of go underneath this ground plane. And you should be able to press Alt and use your right mouse button to zoom out. Um, the other thing I want you to try doing is changing one of your viewport panels cameras. So if you go up to panels on your top view, go up to orthographic and you'll see this option for new and we'll go to bottom. So now I'm also in a camera that's um, orthographic only showing me the underside of this ground plane. If you press Alt and right mouse button, you can zoom out again and see what that hidden message is. When you're done, I do want you to change the camera back. So go back to orthographic and change it back to top. And you can see that I'm at the top view again. So it's kind of fun to play around with your cameras. Okay, the next thing I want you to do is to practice selecting and tumbling around at once. So let's go back to our perspective view and I want you to select these little cookies. You're going to use your arrow icon or the shortcut Q. And then um, also you can go to your modeling toolkit and you can make sure that you're selecting by object or you can also select by vertice, edge, face, or UV. But right now we're just selecting objects. So select these cookies and then press Alt, left mouse button to rotate around the cake. And then we're going to shift and select each of these little hairs. So shift and click. And then you can practice rotating around again. So that's all left mouse button and rotate back to the front. Okay, the next thing I want you to do is to move all of these lollipop candies out of the glass 
and um, scale them up so they're all about the same size and just kind of stack them to the left here. So click, shift and click to select all of the candies. And then I'm gonna press W to activate the move tool. I'm gonna to use the arrows on the move tools to make sure that it's not shifting around in 3D space. And then I'm gonna use my scale tool. So the scale tool on the left here, you can see it's the shortcut R and I'm gonna be using that shortcut R. So remember that when you're scaling something, the center yellow box gives you an even scale in all three directions. If you were to use one of these outside squares, like the red, green, or blue, um, that only scales in one direction. These hovering boxes scale in two directions. So they don't give it a uniform scale. So make sure you're using that center yellow box. And I'm just going to scale these up. I'm actually gonna kind of stack them in front of each other for now to make sure that they're actually be scaling correctly. So you can see I'm pressing W when I wanna move and then R when I want to scale. And let's move this one. I think this one might be pretty good on its own. So now I can just move these out again doesn't matter the order, just get practice moving and using the arrows on the move tool. There we go. And you can see when I'm selecting the ground plane by mistake, I just click off of it and then reselect. Get used to using your select, which is Q, W, E, and R shortcuts. It will make your modeling much faster and easier. Next, I want you to grab these jaw breakers and do a similar thing where you pull them out of this little cup and line them up in the viewport. So I think there's three or four and it'll just be a good practice for moving and um, positioning things. So if you posi position them down underneath the candies, that would be great. Okay, for our final piece, I want you to practice using our viewport shading. So your viewport is currently shaded in flat shading, um, but you can change it so you can see all of your edging um, using wireframe on shaded. That's probably the most um, used shader for your um, viewport. But I also want you to practice um, doing x-ray and wireframe. So I'm going to go up to my top view by pressing spacebar. And for this, I'm going to go to shading and select wireframe. And now you can see that I can just see only the edges of all of my models. This can be really handy if you wanna hide or wanna grab something that's hidden within your model. Okay, so the top one is wireframe. The front view, I'm gonna change this to x-ray. So again, shading and x-ray. And you can see, I also have my camera and lights showing. So if you go to show, I'm gonna uncheck camera and show uncheck lights. And now you can see the model a little better. I don't use x-ray for a lot, but I think it's a good view in case you need to check something inside a model. Now for our side view, we're going to do wireframe on shaded. So just go to shading and wireframe on shaded. And this will be a really helpful view when we're doing all of our modeling. Now the last thing I want you to do is take a little screenshot of all of these views. So Command Shift 4 on a Mac. On a PC, use the snipping tool that enables you to take part of a screenshot. You'll be using screenshots a lot to share your work, so it's a good idea to learn how to take those as well. All right, I hope you enjoyed this exercise and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.